Hey everybody, it's Todd taking control of Jason's cocktail hour. It's Todd's cocktail hour takeover. I am super excited to be doing this, you guys. Jason hasn't had as much time for the segment lately. You know, he's been really, really busy doing a bunch of projects around the RV. And meanwhile, I've been really busy doing a lot of things that are super important to me, like day drinking. Lately, I've been in a summery mood. And what could possibly be more refreshing at a summer picnic? Then a cool, crisp slice of watermelon, followed by a sip of wonderful homemade lemonade. Now, what if I told you that you could combine that flavor profile into a delicious, refreshing, alcoholic liquid lunch? Today, we're gonna be making a watermelon lemonade concoction that I like to call the Summer Picnic Pick-Me-Up. And it's super easy, so let's begin. All right, y'all, here are your ingredients. First off, you're gonna need 1.5 ounces of limoncello. Limoncello is Italian for, how the heck did I get so drunk on something that tastes like candy? Of course, in all seriousness, you should know, if, if you do not have limoncello in your life, get it, because it is the most delicious lemon liqueur from Italy. And uh, it basically tastes like a lemon drop, except, well, like a really potent lemon drop. Next, you're gonna need three ounces of the sparkling wine of your choice. Now, if you've got a slightly more refined palate, you want something not too sweet, something a little bit more subtle, you're gonna wanna go with like uh, something dry, like a brute. But if you're like Jason and me, and basically there's no such thing as anything being too sweet, you're gonna wanna go with something like this, a spumante. And as you can see, we go for the super classy $5 bottom shelf variety. Lastly, three ounces of the secret weapon that's gonna make your cocktail really, really sing. This is fresh watermelon juice. Now, many of you out there might be saying, well, that sounds a little bit complicated. What do I have to do? Like buy a juicer and put watermelon through it? Nope, super easy. You just take like a bunch of chunks of fresh seedless watermelon, throw them into a blender, whiz it up for like 30 seconds and behold, liquid deliciousness. Trust me, you don't wanna skimp on this ingredient. But say it's not summertime and you do need to skimp, you can always find something watermelon flavored at the store. Voila, the summer picnic pick me up. As I said earlier, it is super easy to make. Just stir those three ingredients together and serve it over ice. And you know, you can serve it in a pretty glass, or if you're not feeling super fancy, just dump it into a solo cup, because you know what? Red solo cups are summery too, you guys. Now, if you feel like you're gonna be really ambitious here, you can always rim your glass with some sugar or maybe some crushed up watermelon Jolly Ranchers. And if uh, you're serving it for friends, be sure to just sort of like casually mention, you know, oh yeah, guys, you know, I, I just, I just, you know, juiced a watermelon. It, it, no big deal. It was, it was really, you know, labor intensive, but I really believe in quality ingredients. So here you go. <laughs> well, I can't offer this to you guys through the lens of the camera, but I am going to take a sip and tell you what it tastes like right now. Oh, oh, oh one more sip. Mm. That is summer in a glass. It is so refreshing. It's super sweet. It's a little tangy. You know, it's citrusy, watermelony. And uh, you know, it, 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 it'll get you drunk. So be sure to make these and you will be the cool kid at the pool all summer long. As always guys, have a glamtastic day and stay tuned. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Ah!